What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be running through an article on the Samsung Galaxy Alpha to give you guys the specs of the device and what actually was released by Samsung today, August 13th, 2014, on their new device and what you can expect in the fall of this year from this device. So let's jump right into the video. If I scroll down here, as you guys can see, here are some pictures of the new device. It looks very similar to the Samsung Galaxy S5 and all of the Samsung Galaxy S series phones and tablets. So scrolling down, there's been a lot of rumors going through about the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. A lot of misinformation out there, so thankfully Samsung actually confirmed a lot of this information today. To begin, it has a 4.7 inch screen at 720p quality. It's also running a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core processor, which is very, very powerful. It has a 12 megapixel main camera, 2.1 megapixel front-facing camera, and although there's no room for extra storage, it does come with 32 gigabytes of flash storage, so you should be solid for a little bit. So scrolling down, here are the full specs. As I said, 4.7 inch screen, it's going to be super AMOLED uh, display. Resolution is 1280 by 720 or 720p. Pixel density is 312 pixels. Uh, the processor is unconfirmed still, but we're pretty sure what it is, as I mentioned before. It's going to be an octa-core at 1.8 gigahertz or 1.3 gigahertz. GPU is unconfirmed. Uh, RAM is 2 gigabytes. It's going to have 32 gigabytes of storage. Expansion, there is none. The camera is a 12 megapixel camera, LED flash, 2.1 megapixel front facing camera. Battery is 1860. Um, uh, storage capacity. OS is Android 4.4.4 or KitKat. Um, I believe TouchWiz is going to be put over this on the device. It's got 4G LTE Cat 6. SIM type is unconfirmed. It's got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC. It's got a fingerprint sensor which is great and heart rate sensor which means it will include a lot of the health features we're expecting to be included in a lot of these next-gen phones. Um, it is not infrared. It's metal and the size is 115 grams and it's very very thin. I'm not going to go into the exact specifications for you guys. You can figure that out when I do a hands-on review of this device, but very very good device. Looks very similar to the Samsung Galaxy S5. A lot of new features there. Uh, new operating system. A lot of good things in here. So looks like a great device coming up in the future um, later this fall. Basically to scroll down here, this article basically has the same information. It just has it in a news press release and they do talk about the release date. So Basically, Samsung released all of the information today, but they're planning on launching it on September 12th, which is a Friday, I believe, and pre-orders are going to start a couple days from now on August 15th. So overall, that's the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. My thoughts on it is I think it's an awesome device. I'll try to do a hands-on review for you guys in the future. Um, I may even purchase it if I feel the need to get one for you guys, but I think it's a great device. should be a great, solid device for the market out there. should compete with the iPhone 6 well. And I definitely would give it a try if you are in an Android device right now, you don't like the iPhone. So basically that's the update on the Galaxy Alpha. Go ahead and subscribe down there by clicking the button if you like this video. Also follow my social networks down there in the description like Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, my website, other channels. And I also have a link down there for you guys to get paid iOS or Android apps for free, so check that out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully Samsung can actually follow through with his quality devices as that is in the past. And go ahead and stay tuned for more information on this, guys. So thanks, and I'll catch you later. Peace.